Ready? Do I, okay. get, do I get to clap too? You can clap too. Oh boy, we're here doing it again. <laughs> this, is, gonna... this is dad skills. I'm not, I'm the one that's intro <laughs> you. <laughs> Dad skills. This is the show where my dad, a handy boomer, teaches me, a helpless millennial, how to do things. Today we're going to be talking about what you need in a basic toolkit. Well, it depends on the kind of lifestyle you lead is what you're going to need, but pretty much everybody needs a pair of scissors. Which you, we talked about in your scissors video. Which we talked about scissors. Scissors, you can buy good scissors, you know, which those aren't, or you can buy old scissors at garage sales which this one i would take into battle this i would not this thing's a piece of crap just made out of pot metal kind of stuff you can have specialty scissors if you want to get in and trim stuff you have a lot of leverage with these things these are surgical scissors to get in, in nice tight places what else do you need pliers you gotta have pliers by the way i'm getting all these out of the the it's affectionately called the junk drawer and this is all the tools that we use to run basically a three bedroom house and you know yard gardening and things like that so pliers is another one you have so many oh my god you just need one pair right <laughs> actually i would recommend having two pairs of pliers a small pair of pliers and a big pair of pliers why well big pair of pliers gives you lots of leverage and lots of grip this thing here not so much leverage, not so much grip. Small jobs. Small jobs, okay. okay? You're getting into tight places that you can't get the big guy into. Pliers come in various shapes and sizes, as you can see here. This one here, these are called uh, lineman pliers, I think they are, something like that. You can see these rotate around a single point. They have a really good, a lot of leverage, especially working good for cutting wire and for pulling things. These guys here, you see, you have a slot there right there okay and that allows you to grip this way that's for using it out here to grip like your fingernails or something or something small like this okay now this other part in here the center section that's for like grabbing a hold of something bigger so now you see as it gets bigger you got no leverage way the hell out there in your fingertips so here's the simple solution let me do it on this big guy so it'll show up better Mm -hmm. So you want to try to grab this and you're going, oh damn, Jesus, my hands way the hell out there, I'm not getting any leverage. So here's the magic of this guy. Take this and you open it up and you slide that closed like that a little bit. You lose the ability to clamp down on small things, but you now have the ability to grab bigger things like a, a piece of uh, pipe or something like that you need to turn. So that's what that's for there. Okay. Vice grips. Uh, when, when you get down to something where you need to get a lot of pressure on it, where you're turning, where you're turning something, what? Uh, like a pair of a pipe or something like that, where you're threading a pipe on, that's not going to be good enough. That's not going to be good enough if it starts to slip because you don't have Arnold Schwarzenegger forearms. If you're trying to turn something and it doesn't turn, that's what these come in here. These have what they call an over center lock right here. Once they go over center. You get a tremendous amount of power on this grip here. Pretend this is a piece of pipe, and you're, go you're going out here with this guy, and you're screwing on it as hard as you can here like this. You just can't get a grip on it, okay? Mm -hmm. You bring this bad boy over. These are adjustable. This one's been around a while, so you know it works. <laughs> this one's with it, the... The rust is a good thing? Yeah, well, it doesn't really hurt on these. And this guy here now, you take it and it will go over center, watch it. Now it's locked, it'll stay there. Okay? And now it put, gives you probably 10 times more leverage than this guy here does. Uh, what else? These are kind of handy to have. This is an interchangeable screwdriver. It's got Phillips number two. They come in three sizes, one, two, and three. Number two is the one that you need most. Probably 90% of everything you're going to need is done with a number two Phillips. Okay. This one's kind of cute because it flips around and gives you a flathead on the other side. Now, flathead screws were done, you know, 100 years ago, but they've really lost favor since the Phillips came out. 
you want one that has this one has a, a slippery kind of a handle on it some are actually round and hard the hard ones you you can't get as much grip as you can with a softer one and they're easier on your hands this is the nut probably what everybody wants is one like this number two phillips it has the same end point as this and this is a flat screwdriver and they come in various sizes from that to that to that What's uh, and the size it, that you normally want? About like that. It depends on the Which screw you've got. Like number two uh, as well? I'm, I'm not sure. They, they Wait, one quarter by four inches. Yeah, so when they talk about the quarter, I think what they're talking about is the width of this blade up here. That's a quarter inch right there. See? This guy here, much smaller. L the little smaller they are, the more intricate little tiny things you can work with, like watchmaking and stuff. With, nah, that's even pretty big for that. The eyeglasses. You ever had that little screw that comes loose in your eye eyeglasses? Yeah. That's what these guys might get small enough for. They come in various lengths of handles. Smaller ones get in tight places. Okay, so you have scissors, vice grips, pliers, two pairs of pliers for some reason, a Phillips screwdriver. Yep. And a flathead screwdriver. Yep. What else? I use these things a lot. These are just old cheap old Harbor Freight box cutters. They work real simply. You can shove them up. And if you look real close, you see those little lines right up in here? Those lines allow you to break this thing off. These things get dull pretty quick. This allows you to put that right there. And this thing locks it in place. When you pull this out, that locks it in place so it doesn't move. You always want to take a pair of pliers when you do this. Take this thing like this and point it away from you and bend away from you. Now, you have a whole new, brand new sharp blade. Well, it didn't quite break off smooth there. If you come down here and try it again. Man, it's not going to work as really good as today. But anyway. I get the idea. Yeah, yeah, it's an ever sharp. When it gets dull, you just pull it down, break it off, and keep going. Oh, and they come in various sizes too. They come in tiny ones or bigger ones like this. I actually prefer the ones that are more heavy duty where it has the protective, like, more like this. Yeah, those work pretty good. Because I like these better. And they come in various shapes and sizes too. Here's another bigger, tougher one that has a metal guide on it here. You can tell how many times we use those things because we have... Are you sure you're not just a hoarder and you just like hoard hoarding tools? Well, uh, Diana, my wife, tends to hide stuff on me, so we have more than we ever need. So, <laughs> but they do come in, in very hide stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now here's you don't lose it. Yeah. <laughs> that would never happen to me. Uh, another thing, hammer. Yay! Good old claw hammer. You claw know, hammer, that's called a claw hammer? Claw hammer, because it has a claw on the end here. For okay? ripping out nails? Ripping out nails, get prying things, doing stuff like that. And the old saying is, you know, if you can't do it, get a bigger hammer. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's been around, I think that was my dad's. It's got, it has EE -E stamped on the handle. So this is one of the <laughs> handles that my dad built his house with back in the 40s and early 50s. Wow. And you don't want to get a cheap piece of crap. They have good ones that have better handles, and the handles are made out of a squishy material. Because when you hit stuff, it sends a shock wave up your arm and screws up your arm. So you, mm. especially if you're not a big user of these things, get one that has a big, nice, fluffy handle on it. Okay? If you're a wuss. Yeah, if you're a wuss like me. Okay. You know? Another thing you got to have is a crescent wrench, or what they call an adjustable wrench. We called them crescent hammers when we were younger because they double as a hammer not good for them so you need those they come in various sizes looks like the old tool drawer is a little bit short on them we only got this six incher today what's like a good all-around size well i'd start with an eight inch so okay so an eight inch crescent, eight inch wrench. crescent wrench that's a six this actually says do it herself oh okay so this is a lady's crescent wrench yeah well, ladies prefer six inches, apparently. I guess. We had many a discussion on that in the sailboat. <laughs> oh, pull that line in six inches. The real six inches are six inches that guys tell you. Oh. <laughs> we had a lot, of, a lot of female crew on the boat. <laughs> so what else would we want in here? Uh, How about wire cutters? Wire cutters, or commonly known as dykes. 
another word for diagonal cutters. Mm. Here again, they come in all sorts of different sizes and shapes, uh, from small to big. Those work really good for cutting wire. They also work pretty good for pulling nails. Mm. If you've got a nail, you can get a hold of this thing. There's a nail sticking up like this. Oh, there we go. And it's in a board, and you can just pry that thing up or put a board underneath it and grab a hold of the top of the nail and pry it up. That's if you don't have or can't get in your hammer to pull the nail. Also, if you have uh, staples, you know, you've got a staple staples. gun, you stapled in, I mean, uh, an air stapler. Mm -hmm. It's got a staple maybe this long mm -hmm. to get out. That's about the only thing you can use is these guys. And if you can't get it out, you can... You can snip it off down low and then pound the bitch in. So. And then also cut wire. You can cut wire with them, <laughs> yes, that too. Secondary use. Secondary use. Next thing we, you, I would recommend is a pair of needle nose pliers. They don't have to be fancy, but when you go to Harbor Freight to pick yours out. Why do you keep saying Harbor Freight? There are other hardware stores, you know. Well, I know, but they all make, they all made in China now. And what they do, this is the reason that you don't necessarily go to Harbor Freight. Like, see how those tips, they don't quite line up. Maybe I can get them to go like that. Now see that, they line up a little so better that one. way. So when you go to Harbor Freight or any place else, this thing's a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. You can see those little dots on it right there. That's me trying to peen this out so that it doesn't wiggle back and forth. Well, what do you use these for though? Oh, you, you, when you get in something Oops. that's in a sm small, tiny place, you want to reach in and grab a hold of it. So this is for grabbing it. Grabbing it. And here's the way you use them. You put this finger there so you can push it out and then two fingers to pull it back. Uh, like I said, if you want the straight ones like are the this? best. What? Yeah. What? That, that was pretty close. Just like that. Oh. Two fingers on top, two fingers down below. I don't get it. Like yep. that? Takes a little bit of practice. No, no. I yeah, that's it. This is worse than chopsticks. Oh no, I've never like figured that? out chopsticks. Yeah, that's kind of it. Let me show you again here. Like that? Yeah. You're, okay. You're gripping it here with your thumb. You got to be kind of. Or a, get one of these that automatically opens. Spring again. that 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 Spring works loaded. great. Spring loaded. <laughs> okay. You definitely need magical. Uh, what my dad used to call these things, smart stick. He built his house back in the 40s and 50s with the collapsible wooden ones that are a foot long and they fold out oh. and those are called smart sticks That's like a yardstick but folds up folds up yeah so this is actually called a tape maker <laughs> there we go <laughs> and okay. you need about judging by your house um 50 of them I, I i tend to buy them by the dozen half a dozen or so i'm partial to these kind here i like the ones that lock yeah, I like the ones that lock. They make a, peer, a, a myriad of different kinds. This thing's a piece of shit. But it has so many buttons. I know, but buttons don't necessarily mean that it's going to work real good or last very long. What is that one on the bottom? Oh, that one releases it. This one uh, locks it. Oop. Or not. Uh, yeah, this one's terrible. Yeah, that's a piece of Harbor Freight. Uh, <laughs> so just like everything else, buy a good one and I think Stanley probably makes the best ones. I buy Stanley. I usually buy 25 foot Stanley and they make them that have the inch. I'm an, I'm an old guy, so I still read in inches, but they make them in, in mit, metric and they make them in a, co a combination. Matter of fact, the last one I bought was a combination. What else? Uh, oh, these things work pretty good. If you're a popsicle eater, save a few of your popsicles. Clean them off real good, put them into a plastic bag, and if you ever want to make up a, a epoxy or a, wipe something, or you can slice them down with your handy dandy scraper here and make them into toothpicks or uh, you know, mm. make, make it into a point. These things are real handy mm. and basically they're free because you get them if you eat popsicles. I like, ooh, ah. yeah. I like popsicles and so I got a lot of them. I have bags full of them. The thing that I know about these is when you're doing caulk and yeah. you want to do the line. Yeah, that works good for that. Saves those little splinters into your fingers. Works really good. Well, here's the cover for this guy. So if you want to be safer, you get this guy and it goes on there. Oh yeah, we got that cover, so it's safe. It's fine. It's not going to Again, Harbor Freight cheap. Poor people can't afford to buy cheap. Yeah. 
You want to buy the best thing you can get because like this hammer that's, what is it, 50, 70 years old now, 75 years old, still going strong. Yeah. So, and Thanks, you, Grandpa. Anything else? Well, this is, the, this is the tool kit or our junk drawer that we use at our house. And we have a farm house, an urban farm, where we raise chickens and we had gardens and all that stuff. And so this is the stuff that we have in this drawer, in our house, in our kitchen, top drawer, that we use all the time in there. So this will do 95% of the jobs that you want to do around the house. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll go through the brown box here right now and uh, show you what you carry in your, for your car. Okay, another video. Another video. T car toolkit. Car toolkit. Okay. All right, thank you, Dad. You're welcome. All right. Next time. Bye, everybody. No, you don't have to clap at the end. What? Oh, damn. I thought you did. <laughs>